Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t to the power of t, and this equals t to the power of 4. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now, if you consider this identity, if you have a to the power of a, and this equals a to the power of c, you can easily equate this exponent because the pieces are the same. You can have a equals c. Now, if you make use of that same identity here, you have t equals 4. So this is just one of the solutions, and we have other solutions for this exponential problem. So you have t power t equals t power 4. We are solving for all values of t that will satisfy this equation. Let's start by making use of natural log f ln of t power t, and this equals ln of t power 4. And as usual, if you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln of a. So what happens here is that the t will come behind the natural log, and the 4 will come be behind the natural log. We have t times ln t equals 4 times ln t. So right now, t times ln t this is t ln t, and this equals 4 ln t. So what I can do is to move this over here, and it becomes minus, so have t ln t minus 4 ln t equals 0. So right now, I have ln t here, and I have ln t here. I can decide to factor out ln t. I have ln t times this divided by ln t. I have t minus this divided by ln t. I have 4, and this equals 0. So I'm going to equate each of these to 0. I have ln t equals 0, or I have t minus 4 equals 0. So by solving each of this, we solve this and we solve this. I have ln t equals 0. For me to solve for t, let's start with this one here. I have t minus 4 equals 0. This crosses over, we have t equals 4. So this is my t1. Now, this is also the same one that we got by using the identity. Look at this here. Now let's solve this other one here. We have ln t equals 0. Solving for t and make use of e. I have e power ln t equals e power 0. e raised to the power of ln cancel out. We have t equals e power 0. And any number or alphabet raised to the power of 0 is a term of 0 is 1. So you have t equals 1. So these are the two solutions that we have gotten so far using this particular method. Now, let's check if we can make use of another method and let's see if you are going to have the same two solutions or there are other solutions that we are going to have. So I have method two, t power t equals t power four. So in this method here, I can divide this by t power four. I divide this by t power four. This cancel this, so I have t power t divided by t power 4 equals 1. So let's consider this identity. You have a power n divided by a power n equals a power n minus n. I apply it right here, so I'm going to have t power t minus 4 equals 1. The pieces by the same, we subtract the exponent, just like this. So I can make use of natural log now. I have ln of t power t minus 4 equals ln 1. And just like what we did earlier on, if you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln a. Applying this right here. That means the t minus 4 will come behind this. 
have t minus 4 times ln t equals ln 1. So right now I have t minus 4 times ln t equals ln 1 is 0. So I can equate each of these to 0. I have t minus 4 equals 0 or ln t equals 0. So right now, to solve this, I move this over here, becomes positive 4. I have t equals 4. This still gives us the same solution that we had earlier on. And to solve this, I make use of e. I have e power ln t equals e power 0. So at this particular point, the e can cancel the ln. I have t equals e power 0. And any number raised to the prop 0 is 1. I have t equals 1. So in all of these cases, uh, these methods that we are using, we are still having the same two solutions. And this seems to be like we have only two solutions for this particular exponential problem. Now the next step will be for us to check. So let's go ahead and check for each of these solutions. So I have t power t equals t power 4. And we have t equals 4 and t equals 1. Those are the two solutions that we have solved so far. So let's start with 4. This will be 4 power 4 equals 4 power 4. And 4 to the power of 4. Remember 4 is the perfect square. This is 2 to the power of 2. Raised to the power of 4 equals 2 to the power of 2. Raised to the power of 4. If you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So you multiply this out, multiply this out. This means we have 2 power 8 equals 2 power 8. All right, now finding the value of 2 power 8, this is 2, 5, 6, and this equals 2, 5, 6. Left hand is poor right hand. So that is it. That has satisfied the equation. Let's consider when t equals 1. We have t equals 1. We record the problem. t power t equals t power 4. Let's consider 1. That is 1 power 1 equals 1 power 4. Now 1 power 1 is 1 equals 1 raised to the power of any number is 1. So 1 power 4 is 1. Left hand side equals right hand side. That has satisfied the equation as well. So ladies and gentlemen, the two solutions have satisfied the equation and those are the two solutions that we have gotten so far. If you have any other solution, kindly drop it on the comment box. Thank you and see you again.